made clean. And this, uh, of course, uh, removes all the object uh, and uh, the kernel image and uh, many other uh, uh, extension by the different extensions. Then, uh, as suggested here, you do make QM. This command will also run immediately the, uh, the kernel. So make QM. It uh, compiles, creates the kernel, and you see starting a shell, and uh, the dollar is the, uh, the prompt. So I can say uh, ls, and ls gives me which are the other commands that I can use wc. Uh, shell and the user tests. So these user tests are uh, uh, it's a long program with uh, the test for all the, uh, the commands, uh, not commands, <laughs> system calls. Uh, so you have a link, let's make a directory, remove, uh, kill, uh, grab, and echo cut. Okay. So I can cut. Uh, read me. Of course, there is no completion because the shell is a minimal shell. <coughs> but I'm able to correct. And uh, you get. Uh, so you see that uh, the output goes here in the black windows, but also there is a mirror also on, the, on this terminal. Okay. Um, okay, suggest what to do for a box that is another uh, emulator. Make like, yeah, PMS what we did. Okay, uh, so these are uh, some of the, so you can use uh, uh, ls, uh, pipe, you have to find uh, where is the symbol pipe. In the Italian uh, keyboard, this, or in my keyboard, this. Uh, uh, capital U, uh, but uh, we will see the laboratory. Uh, LS grep uh, for readme. Okay, it, it finds a readme. Okay, so it works for something. Control Alt to get the the mouse, and uh, I can. Uh, now, as suggested here, it uh, suggests to use uh, make QEMU GDD, and uh, we obtain, uh, exactly as we did before, uh, a QEMU that start uh, um, stop it. So, uh, dot slash, no, QEMU, no, uh, make. QAGDD and uh, okay, my, my kernel start uh, stopping so we can debug it uh, uh, using DDD. Well, but this time uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, files and uh, there are two types of, uh, of files here. You see here, lc, ls.c, so I open, for example, ls, ls.c, link, but it's the same. Where it is? ls.c. Okay, so if you look at ls.c, as you expect, it's a main. It's a main that is, has been compiled because we know that the shell executes the code of LS. Okay, so this is a, a normal program, user program. A while you have uh, the uh, internal functions of, uh, of the 
this x, for example, uh, approach dot c or uh, pi dot c. So you see that uh, uh, pi dot c defines uh, the data structure for a pi and read and write, uh, read open, uh, write open, okay? So, for the producer and consumer, uh, pi per location, okay? That uh, does uh, uh, the operations that uh, are necessary for uh, implementing the, the pi. Okay, so uh, how we can uh, uh, see uh, the uh, all these files? Uh, uh, and how we can navigate on, uh, on the files. Well, there are two possibility, uh, possibilities. One is this one, uh, uh, one is this. Uh, ls star pdf. Okay, you see that uh, you have uh, uh, xv6 pdf, so uh, I can look at it. My uh, <coughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, You see here that uh, uh, there is a, a very good documentation uh, because uh, you have uh, here page one and page two, and this is an index uh, of all the symbols that appear in the S files with uh, uh, definition and uses. For example, for the function acquire. So this one four uh, seven four means that. Uh, Acquires is defined in page 14 at line 74. So whereas if we go at uh, page 14, maybe in this way, 6, 8, 13, and 14 uh, is here. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I must have read uh, it uh, at the end. Oh, 74. Uh, 42, 14. Let me see if this is. By the way, uh, you have uh, either to print, but uh, I will show you another way. Much better. Navigate. Oh. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Acquire. Okay? Acquire is line 74. Here. Okay. Now, since this is uh, uh, complicated and tricky, here to go through the phases or here, uh, there is this. Uh, uh, a program called DOCSGEN, DOCSIGEN, that uh, uh, is used for uh, um, documenting your projects. So the name is, uh, is uh, DOCSIGEN. Lowercase. And uh, in particular, I'm uh, using here uh, what is called the Doxygen uh, GUI uh, interface. So the, <coughs> the um, the wizard, 
Uh, that's much more uh, easier. So the Twizar, uh, I defined the project name actually 6 to 2012, and uh, uh, the directory where the source code are and uh, where uh, the destination, the uh, output of this program are. And uh, simply then uh, running uh, the, uh, the configuration file that it uh, creates, uh, it generates uh, an HTML directory where we have uh, all the files and the hyper references. This is uh, great. So, if I uh, um, go here, they have already open it using the index. So, I started with the index HTML. Uh, so, to show you here, uh, the <coughs> CD HTML, okay, LS, you have uh, several files, and the one that I run is, uh, as usually, the uh, K index, where it is, uh, LS index index HTML, okay? So running it, uh, what I get uh, is this page. Uh, this is the title that uh, I did. So if I uh, click at files, I obtain here all the files and the directories, but for example, for, let us take uh, uh, main.c, I get the code if I want, but what is interesting, if I click on K in it, if I click, it uh, uh, brings me to the file and to uh, the, the function. So I immediately can see uh, the value of uh, variables and uh, not variables, but uh, constants. For example, in uh, uh, syscall, syscall.h, syscall.c, no, syscall.h, here, you see the number of the system calls. For example, uh, system core 1 is for fork, 2 is uh, for exit, uh, and so on. So, if you debug, uh, as you will do, and I will do, uh, for uh, um, tracing the system calls uh, that are uh, uh, issued uh, by an application, like or a program, like uh, LS or whatever else, we can see which are the system calls uh, and in which order they appear. Okay. So this helps uh, us uh, a lot. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, make it uh, even larger. No, more. Okay. I can reduce it. Okay. So. Now what we can do? We can do debugging as usual, and uh, uh, you must be aware of two things. Um, well, let us uh, run VDD. So we start again with uh, uh, dot slash qm shell because uh, uh, I created the. Uh, I created the uh, uh, usual command, look at this, uh, cut UMO shell, similar to the one uh, that you know for the your minimal kernel. Um, minus serial among uh, standard U. This time the hard disk is B because it's been created in this way. You have uh, not only the image, but the file system, because if I create a file, it will remain 
on the flight since then. Okay, so if you want to uh, erase it, you have to remove or uh, to rerun uh, the, the compilation. Uh, this uh, uh, parameter tells me that high MD emulating two CPUs, two cores, SMP2. Uh, the memory is 512 uh, uh, kilobyte. Suspended the TCP port this time is 2600 rather than 1234 as it was before. Um, GDD init contains uh, again the simple file kernel mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, uh, the, the executable and uh, echo target remote to that uh, 26,000. Okay. So now, slot uh, dash QMO shell run this, and from another window, uh, I can do DGP. DDD starts, and uh, here you see uh, the main, okay, uh, that begins by the one uh, as uh, we saw before. Uh, I can look uh, at the pages uh, by reuse it. Okay, and uh, here you see, but it's better to look at it uh, here in the editor, main.c. Uh, you have uh, the initialization uh, uh, of a uh, physical page locator, page table, uh, uh, machine uh, uh, emulator, the uh, two cores, uh, the uh, interrupt um, in the segmentation, uh, and here it means starting x86, and so on, everything that is uh, needed. For example, the file in it. I know the init uh, uh, and uh, the disk ID is included in here. Okay, so finally, it, uh, uh, with the user init, uh, create the init process. So the init process is done by end, all the other processes are created by uh, init. So it creates the shell and shell creates the other processes, as we know. So, if we start with the DDD uh, and uh, we look at this window, you will see, as usual, the long jump uh, at the higher address as before, because this is a standard for BIOS. So, if we uh, do step, next step, we go at uh, this other address, and uh, here we, we get the control register zero because we want to run in uh, uh, real mode and then to pass in uh, uh, protected mode. But as you remember, I can break on 0x7c00, mm -hmm. exactly as before, because uh, the Again, we are expecting that uh, at this location we will find uh, the bootstrap uh, uh, instructions. Uh, so we read uh, the, uh, the boot block of uh, uh, the HDB uh, uh, image, the uh, XV6 image. And uh, if I continue, <coughs> uh, booting from uh, hard disk is uh, what, uh, uh, what is printed. And uh, I am uh, in the uh, 7D00. Remember, clear, interrupt, XOR, move, 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 etc. Okay, until we reach uh, uh, the point where. Uh, we call uh, the function uh, boot main. Mm 
that uh, is called here, uh, okay, the Lord, put us in there. So 7600, you see, is the start uh, of the book name. Um, here we have uh, several uh, instructions that uh, uh, you can uh, go through. And uh, finally, so here is the initialization of the global description table. Uh, so uh, finally, I can uh, uh, find the boot main. Okay, boot main. Boot main is at the location uh, uh, 736. And uh, uh, this is the assembler, but uh, boot uh, uh, main exists also as a C program. Okay? So the one that you saw is the uh, assembler um, output of the NASM assembler. Uh, read seg, boot main begins here. So here you see that uh, uh, it expects to find uh, an executable that uh, has been uh, um, compiled to produce an ELT uh, file. So as uh, this ELT magic number at the uh, first instruction, and uh, this uh, elf number, I, I, using uh, our uh, nice uh, uh, um, hyperlink uh, um, references here, uh, I can find it. So, uh, put main, put main, let's see, code, if I look at uh, Earth magic. Earth magic is somewhere defined here. By this, up oh, here. So this is a really strange, uh, uh, strange thing. But forty-six uh, in hexadecimal is uh, uh, F, F, capital F. This uh, 45 is E, and uh, this is the L. The order seems strange, but uh, this depends on the uh, little Indian order of uh, story. By the way, this is a curiosity. So we can uh, follow uh, the instructions to see uh, step by step how the first uh, 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 process is uh, um, is created, but uh, uh, now uh, we can uh, uh, play with uh, uh, the, for example, we can rerun it. Okay, and stop somewhere. It is uh, maybe interesting. Uh, so this is for DDD, the window for DDD, and this is for QM, no. So the other one. For QM and DDD. So let me uh, stop uh, when the dollar uh, is printed, for example, and uh, here I can uh, do a break. Cons, cons put, cons put character, cons put character. Then I continue booting from hard disk, and uh, here. What happens? Cos put C0. Okay, uh, then 
you go next, hopefully. I don't see a flat plane. Oh, it was there. By the way, it's, n it's not yet interesting this. Okay, uh, what is interesting is that you follow the, the, the break point. So, let us uh, run again, DDD, and uh, um, do this. Um, back to trap. Continue. Okay, starting. Um, so, this point uh, is better if I increase uh, the size of this. So, uh, trap is the function where uh, the kernel goes when a uh, trap of code. A trap means an exception system called an interrupt. Now we can see uh, with next which kind of uh, interrupt was next. Uh, it seems that uh, it was uh, an interrupt, uh, but at this point uh, it's better to, uh, to put a break on syscall. Syscall? Break syscall. Continue. Uh, maybe I eliminate this. Continue. Okay, now I am at this uh, point if a system call. Let us see uh, which kind of system call is. So I delete this breakpoint and I put here a breakpoint so that uh, container gives me the number. Uh, the number uh, is uh, 7. Okay, I can uh, uh, show. Uh, view, view the data windows so I can uh, display graphical graph display uh, number number is 7 what is 7 I can uh, look here at the this is called uh, dot h Number seven is exact, okay? So exact what? We can follow it. Uh, okay, um, next. This is called number, so uh, we can step into uh, and look at this, uh, is a T here, uh, but this doesn't give us uh, uh, much information. Next. to see what, what goes here. In it. Okay, well it is in it. Exact path. Path is in it. So the first system call uh, is uh, an exact for the in it process. Then we can go on, continue. Number is 15. We go here, 15 is open. What we open? Typically the console, but let us check. Um, okay, next. Uh, maybe step. 
Okay. Yes. Uh, next. I'll create path console. Okay. So it's open in the console. Continue. 17. Make node. Uh, can we see why uh, now there is this open uh, make node? Yes. We have to look uh, at the init uh, code. If we have yeah, init.c. Nice. You see? Open console. Make node console, open console with write. So the next operation that uh, I expect is again uh, 15. Continue. 15. Again. Okay, then uh, it does uh, a dope system code two times. So let us continue. Ten. Ten. Uh, this well, this code the page is better to. Okay. Now. Ten uh, is six dope. So this way I can uh, follow uh, the. The operation that are done, uh, even if you give uh, some commands that are uh, complex, for example, uh, uh, say echo something uh, and then uh, you pipe uh, on uh, uh, graph and then on WC. So you see what, what happens. Um, what else? This is uh, important now. Suppose that I want to, uh, to debug one of the command or my program that I put uh, uh, on the main file. So suppose I want to go to debug ls. Um, okay, so I eliminate this. Delete breakpoint. And here, uh, I have to show you the make file. Open make file. Uh, the make file here you see has uh, all the kernel files, but Here are the user programs. And you see that the user programs, they get by an underscore. So if I want to debug, so there are three types of debug uh, operation that I can do. One, debugging the bootstrap. So where we have a sender essentially, even if it is written in C, and it doesn't appear in the kernel. Uh, because uh, it's before the kernel is loaded. Okay? The second I can debug the kernel, as we saw, the track or whatever I want. And the third, I want to debug a user program. To debug the user program, uh, I have to uh, load the symbol table of the program. So the command is file for example, the underscore ls, not with file underscore ls. Okay, I want to, yes, uh, change the file, yes. Load the symbol table, yes, yes. This is ls, okay? So, you see that ls does uh, check for number of arguments. 
if I give a LS without argument, it calls the function LS with the file dot. Otherwise, uh, for each argument, uh, it, uh, I execute LS on the argument. So it's quite, quite simple. And now we can see what happens in the LS. So uh, we can put a breakpoint here. Uh, continue, but of course uh, continuing we are uh, with, the, with the prompt. So I can give ls, and of course I don't take anything because uh, I'm in the point here. The number of arguments is one, just ls. So uh, next, it calls ls step into. Uh, open path, uh, path is dot, of course, and uh, next, uh, f start to actually uh, st is uh, clear, so I can uh, do next, and st now contain the indication of the node, type 1, device 1, node 1, uh, number of links 1 because uh, this is the only uh, name. Uh, and uh, um, depending on the type, if uh, it is a directory, dot, it uh, uh, tries to parse uh, this name to see if uh, it is uh, too long. Uh, so it does this, then I reach the content of uh, dot in this uh, DA. Okay, uh, move uh, D in D, so it's the path dot. Start this and finally print uh, the content of the DA node because ls is like ls in minus l in this case. Okay, dot one uh, is the type, the DA node is one, and uh, the size is uh, 512. Then, continue next. Uh, it takes a dot dot and does the print next buff is with me takes uh, with uh, start uh, no f start no start the name read me the type is two uh, because it's a regular file uh, and uh, uh, yeah, you know this too and uh, so remember that the uh, uh, yeah, you know this one here for uh, dot and dot dot because we are in the <coughs> directory the other part. okay so in the same way it is possible to follow uh, other commands uh, and uh, uh, other files. Um, what uh, you will have to do in laboratory is to modify uh, the, the kernel. Since this kernel uh, has not semaphores, you have to add the system call for semaphores. Uh, and I give you the text of the uh, laboratory, some hints that uh, the files that um, you have to change. For example, and uh, the this pipe dot c will. Uh, should be an inspiration for you. 
uh, why? Because uh, we know that uh, the pipe, uh, the pipe is blocked. No, uh, sorry, the pipe is empty. The process is blocked. So how does block uh, the pipe? Which is the system call that uh, uses to block uh, uh, the pipe? Slip. And here you have the syntax. So by analogy, you can use the slip when it is necessary for a uh, uh, weight. And uh, which is the function that the kernel uses for uh, uh, for signal to wake up? Wake up. Okay. So using uh, the pipe as example and the file system because. Uh, the pipes are created, uh, as a matter of fact, also uh, are allocated. Uh, you have to change, uh, for example, this file, param.h. You see that uh, the maximum number of files is 100, so you have to add here, like, the file and the number of max of uh, uh, semaphores, say 10, 20, etc. I will uh, provide you uh, a file ST, mm -hmm. uh, so for semaphore test, that you can use like uh, LS, okay, for uh, uh, testing your implementation of, of the semaphore. So you have to write the same input, the same destroy, the same wait, uh, and same uh, post. Essentially, okay, and uh, uh, in, in this way, you have uh, to to add essentially a structure and uh, four functions plus uh, all the other things uh, that are necessary uh, in the file that I indicate to you. For example, uh, where we are. For example, in uh, syscall.h, of course, you have to define uh, the four additional system calls with uh, other numbers. Okay? Uh, in uh, uh, syscall.c, you have uh, um, here this external, you have to add uh, the external for the R function. Uh, and so on. Okay? So, uh, this is what uh, uh, you have to do for this. Uh, for, uh, so, this will allow you to understand uh, uh, the, uh, the details of, uh, of the kernel and to enjoy adding it. <laughs> probably they enjoy it in a different way, but <laughs> you will not enjoy it. <laughs> so it's a question of enjoying first or after. Uh, okay, so uh, well, this is uh, um, more or less uh, uh, the background that you need to know. Of course, I will be in laboratory to help you with that. Uh, okay, so that's all for uh, today. And. Uh, well, essentially the source of the course, but we will see also after Easter uh, Monday.